I'd just like to take a moment to thank God for making insects as small as they are. Because if he didn't, bro, that was so random. I was like, why is this guy bullying, thinking? bro? Oh, like, no, they sure. will be dominating in their everything. packs as well. Packs. In They'll be dominating groups. everything. They, they are real gang. Unorthodox reaction. An orthodox reaction, an orthodox intro. Welcome back, guys, to another an orthodox reaction. This is everything unorthodox and everything orthodox. We are, you know, orthodox is the new unorthodox. Everything is whatever it Split. is, whatever it can be, and whatever it wants to be. Um, we are back again with it is what it, it is. Uh, it was what it was. All right, bruv, we are wasting so much time of their lovely days. Oh, now you suddenly care about wasting Oh, no, time. I no, I love wasting their time. Oh, you know, no, let's just sit back here and just, just waste more of their time. You see, that would be nice and all, but I feel like just the silence wouldn't make for a good video. So if we're gonna Oh, that's time, that's what you we need to you are an entertainer. Feel the silence. You are an entertainer, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I feel like, I, sometimes White. I feel like I was born to entertain, you know? Were you? I feel like I was. Where were you born and how? Tell me. Um. So I was born in... I actually don't know where I was born, but... What kind of entertainer doesn't... Do you know where I was born? I don't know where I was born because you know? I was just left on the door of an orphanage in the theatres. <laughs> <laughs> it was no a, way. It, was set, it, was, it wasn't even a real orphanage. It was like a set of like an orphanage that they were about to film like a... And you were the main character? No, <laughs> of course not. But if, um, apparently my mom thought it was like a real orphanage and she just left me at the doors. So I was technically left... As the, in the theaters, so you weren't even so born I was performing. I was adopted. I was born performing. I you was know what? Yeah, performing. I when I born, came out, I was born into. I was left into the world of performing. But yeah. I wasn't born. No, I was born performing. When I came out and the doctor smacked my ass to see if I was gonna cry, guess what I did? Wasn't that part of the play? No, guess what I did? I sang instead. <laughs> and then after that, guess what they did? They put me in the crib. They were rocking me to bed, and I was there like. Love my love. <laughs> She's just a girl who claims I am the one. <laughs> All right, I don't like. I don't like. Anyone. Take two. Yeah, and then I had I to was do it born. again. <laughs> <laughs> I was no, born. No, you had your chance. Performing. You no. had your chance to say where you were born. No. Take two. Welcome back, guys. We're gonna go straight into the video, and this is another tier zoo. Um, how ants and bees broke the game. Just take my intro. Why don't you? Now oh, go and tell me, me where were you born? Well, no, no, it's, it's like now. Oh, it's a bit late like, now. Easy. It's you. Insects are one of the most overpowered factions in the game. With their incredible selection of powerful abilities, it's no surprise they've been the dominant force in the meta in basically every biome in the game. However, there is one subset of insects that really pushes the limits of what I think constitutes fair play in the game of life. I'm talking about Hymenoptera, the group consisting of bees, ants, and wasps. There are two factors that make this faction so powerful. The first is their incredible list of abilities, and the second is that their most famous strategy is basically an exploit of the game engine. This episode was sponsored by Curiosity Stream and Nebula. Nebula. First, their abilities. Long story short, Hymenopterans have a dozen or so powerful abilities, some of which are plenty broken enough Super on their strength. own, but when Super combined speed. synergistically, they become ridiculously overpowered. We're gonna need to sort of rapid fire through this list just to keep this video reasonably paced. The first and most important ability of theirs is flight. Part of the reason that insects in general are a top tier class is that they have access to the flight ability. They were the first major class to gain access to this perk, unlocking its several expansions before reptiles, birds, and mammals. Really? It's tough to overstate the utility that this ability provides, but I do have a whole video on it if you want to know more. One thing to note is that, while most flying builds had to modulate an entire pair of limbs in order to use this ability, insects did not. This gives insects, and especially Hymenopterans, access to ability combinations not seen anywhere else in the game. Uh. Next is Aposematic Coloration. Many Hymenopterans are brightly colored, which lowers their stealth stat and greatly buffs their passive intimidation. It's such a frightening defense that other builds but have started to copy it. Colorful. Next is exoskeletal armor. 
Despite all being in a very low weight class, Hymenopterans sport durable armor that allows them to greatly reduce damage from attacks. Ooh. While not as sturdy as, say, the armor of a beetle, it's still surprisingly strong. <laughs> in addition to granting him extra defense from attacks, this armor makes flight a lot less risky, as getting hit midair <clears throat> is nowhere near as big a death sentence as it is for other flyers. The ability to fly usually is only even remotely viable when the user makes a lot of sacrifices in terms of that? and defense. But Could this you? doesn't seem to apply oh, to Oh, snap! Next is their venomous sting. Despite being in a low weight class, pretty much every player needs to respect Hymenopterans as a threat. Their stings are powerful enough to completely paralyze other insect players, and deal serious damage to larger players. In a group, there's basically no weight class larger that than two like their even, even elephants fear beehives. But speaking of beehives, I think it's time I cut to the chase. Their most important ability is eusociality. This ability group is completely tactics. busted and needs to be nerfed. At first glance, it might just look like normal team strategy, similar to cooperative hunting or herd behavior, but in truth, it goes so far beyond that. You social insects are organized on a level that not even humans can contest. Mm. Despite not having a particularly high intelligence stat, a hive can build extremely complicated structures without the use oh. of tools. Yeah, like they can launch organized attacks yeah. containing thousands of combatants. They can capture prisoners, cross major barriers, and control territory in an absolutely incredible They've mastered the art of war. Thousands of players will lay down their lives in defense of a colony if need be. So you may be asking yourself, why does this work? Why is it that in a meta dictated almost entirely by survival of the fittest, would so many players act altruistically, donating all of their foraging efforts, spending time guarding respawn points, and even sacrificing themselves in combat? The answer is complicated and gets into the very core of the game's mechanics. Try to stick with me, it's not an easy explanation, but I'll do my best. First, I'll start with the question. What does it mean to win the game? Most players would answer, complete the game's main quest, reproduction. Is, uh, why is that is the primary objective? And what if uh, there was a way to change the main objective of another player? So the main objective is determined by the way the characters in the game are coded. Data miners have discovered that most new players spawn in with half the code of each player that cooperated in the corresponding reproduction quest. So, um, explain all of that to me, because I'm confused now. Um, he's saying the game is to reproduce, and he's saying that bees, their game is different. Their game is to protect the hive, so they. Work yeah, I guess the for reproduction would make more sense because obviously to keep your species yeah, yeah. going, you need to reproduce yeah. and stuff. Yeah, but I guess, wouldn't yeah, but don't bees still need to reproduce as well though? Um, I think because of the queen bee, she does all of it.